Hello guys, it's Barry. In this video, we are going to talk about the BMW N20 engine. BMW has several exceptional engines on the market, and the N20 is one of them. This engine was introduced in 2011 to replace the N52 N53 engine. Despite being reliable, the N20 also comes with a lot of issues. The timing chain issue is one of them. Let's dive a bit deeper into it. The most common problem with the BMW N20 engine is the timing chain. This issue is common on almost all BMWs. Nevertheless, this problem is rampant on the BMW engine made between 2011 and 2015. The sign of a bad timing chain on the N20 engine are excessive slack, a loud whining from the engine, check engine light, faulty code, and a lot of scoring on the chain. Behind me is a BMW 3 Series 320i manufactured in 2013 with the N20 B20 engine code. The engine on this car will have obvious abnormal noise after driving for a while and it also occasionally suffers from engine misfiring and rough idling. The second part of this video we are going to introduce the professional tooling we are going to use to replace the port. The first one is the one we are going to use for the timing chain. The second one is for the eccentric shaft and the third one is for the fuel injectors. The third part of this video, we'll be introducing bog up items that we are going to use to solve this BMW issue. First, we'll be using our timing chain kit. Second, we'll introduce the solution for our oil leakage, the cylinder head cover gasket. Third, we'll be introducing bog up solution for the oil cooler housing that we're also going to solve for the oil leakage. Bug up oil cooler, eccentric shaft actuator. Bug up eccentric shaft. Okay, the next step, we start removing the air filter assembly and the car cover. To save time before starting shooting the video, we already removed the bottle of the engine cover the air filter assembly and the cow cord. The process of disconnecting all these bolts are very easy, that's why we did not add it on the video. Next step, we will show you the process how to remove the ignition coil. First, you have to disconnect the connector. Then, you pull it out. Next, we have to remove the fuel common rail and the fuel injectors. But first, we have to disconnect and loosen the bolts. Next, we will remove the high pressure fuel pump, but for time saving, these bolts were already, already loosened. We remove the dust cover, we disconnect the connector, and we remove the high pressure fuel pump. As you can see from the original setup from BMW, one of the reasons this cylinder head leaks oil, as you can see here, there are two bolts here, but they did not put any bolts here, that's why it leaks oil from here a lot. The next step, we will remove the wiring harness, but this wiring harness is held uh, with this bracket, but you have to be careful when removing it because this bracket has three screws. These two in front here, and there is one, another one on the back here. You have to be careful when uh, removing them not to break it. All these were already removed before we start shooting the video to save time. The next step, we will be removing the crankcase breather hole. We disconnect the camshaft adjuster central magnet, the first one, and the second one. We remove the vacuum pump, but this vacuum pump was held by three bolts, but these bolts were already removed. As you can see, at this stage, all the parts surrounding the cylinder head cover were already removed. So now it's easy for us to take care of the cylinder head cover. After removing the cylinder head cover, you can notice here all these gaskets are flattened and also aging. There is no resistance on the gasket. But Bogap is able to offer you the complete solution for, solution for the gasket. The main one for the cylinder head cover, and the two one for the middle, and for the crankcase, crankcase breather hole, and for the high pressure fuel pump. Okay, from here you can notice the intake camshaft adjuster kit, the exhaust, 
the chain, the slide chain rail, eccentric shaft actuator, and the eccentric shaft itself. It's also common for BMW engine to leak oil from the oil filter housing assembly. After driving for a while, all these gasket, either from the cover, start leaking oil or from this gasket, it ages a lot after driving the car for a while. So we highly recommend our clients to replace them all at once. In order to facilitate our work when removing the timing chain kit, we have decided to lift up the car and remove the engine shield cover first. Before we start the process of removing the timing chain, we have to make sure to secure the crankshaft first. One of the first things that we have to do is to remove this seal plug, which is located down here between uh, the engine and the transmission to the flywheel. We will be using this little tool here to secure the crankshaft. Using this tool here, now it's time to secure the crankshaft to TDC top dead center. As you can see right now, the crankshaft is this piece right here. After securing the crankshaft, now we'll be moving on top here to secure the camshaft. We'll be using this kit right here to prevent the camshaft from moving and uh, this one right here to prevent the variable valve timing from moving. After measuring like the variable timing they are in place, now we can remove this kit right here then we start removing the camshaft. Let's remove the crankshaft bolts. Now it's time to remove the timing chain tensioner, but before we have to remove this vacuum pump diverter. We already loosened it. Let's just uh, remove the bolt and take it out. Now it will give us an easy access to the timing chain tensioner. Now let's remove the timing chain tensioner. But before doing it, let's put a rag here to prevent uh, an oil leak and mess the place up. As you can see, the timing chain tensioner has been removed. Now it's time to remove the timing kit. Let's loosen it first. Now let's remove the intake and exhaust camshaft adjusters. After removing all the chain component on top of the engine, now we have decided to remove the oil pan because the chain, the timing chain is directly connected to the oil pump chain through this crankshaft. For safety purpose, when reassembling the chain together, we have decided to remove um, the oil pan. It will give us an easy access directly to this crankshaft.